What is up, everyone? We're the ones off it, and we saw these limited edition ch double chocolate M and M's, dark chocolate and light chocolate. They're different chocolate. They're the exact opposite chocolate. One's iron, technically a chocolate. It's vanilla. Anyways, M and M's hold a near and dear space in my heart. They smell like brownies. Mm. Yep, white chocolate from the white I don't know. I don't taste either or difference. I mean... Okay, they all look white on the inside, so that was a wrong statement. No, there's like a layer of like dark chocolate and then inside there's a layer of white chocolate. Oh, uh, okay. That makes more sense. I feel dumb. <laughs> they smell like brownies. But I have to give these a two. I wanted to say they were unfudged cookies. I, I kinda like them. I'm a big chocolate fan, they just don't I I think the thing don't... is I don't really care for chocolate that much. I feel like they don't mix well. These are good. I give them a five. I give them a two. Chocolates are my least favorite candy. And chocolates are my favorite candy. Mm, not me. So I think these are pretty decent. So you told me you had an MM story, by the way. Oh yeah, that one's near and dear to my heart. <laughs> um. So you're you're gonna keep in mind this was way before I was a doctor of dynasty. I was like a wee little hatchling. And I was with my even wee littler hatchling cousins. And all three of us boys and the one girl were all at uh, my aunt's house. And she's like, oh, and it might have been Easter or something because it was a really religious family in the South. Mm -hmm. Which I'd only see him once, twice a year. She's like, oh, we got you some candy. And they're like, but we're going to grandma's and grandma's are kind of health nut and she's doing her. So don't eat too much. So the other parents had the little mini M and M tubes, you know, those little hand-sized ones that are like they're one sitting for a kid. We all got like a tiny handful from our moms and dads, and I was the oldest kid by a year. And I don't know, I think it was my dad or my mom. It was one of the two. I got like a slightly bigger handful than all my cousins, and like instantly they started complaining. So I think it was my mom who like tried to pull the, the extra like out of my hand and I went no and I pulled my hand away and then I started grabbing as many as I could and I started shoving them up my nose and I had this logic of neither of my parents are going to try and pull boogers out of my nose so they're not going to try and touch my candy. And you know, moral of the story was yes, I did get to keep all the M&Ms and eat them. The problem was one of them lodged way up in my nose. And, like, I couldn't breathe out of it, so they'd, like, rush to get to Grandma's house. And then Grandma, who was a nurse, was sitting there with, like, tweezers. And she was, like, really trying to pull that thing out for 45 minutes. And that's the only one I didn't get to eat. You ate them after they came out of your nose? I was five or six, yeah. <sighs> Especially when Mom and Dad are trying to take your candy away that they barely let you have. And you're just, fuck, no, <sighs> I mean, I, I I, guess I see a child logic there. Kind of like, do you think the the scene in um, Adam Sandler, Big Daddy? Do you think it was really gross where the kid's like hanging the loogie and then sucking it back up even though he's hitting the ground with it? No, because I used to do it when I was a kid. In my opinion, that is just as gross as eating a booger. Like, they're both disgusting. Don't get me wrong, but... True. I mean, the only thing I did when I was a kid with those little tube thingies, when like, I attached to my belt and felt like I was like a soldier or something being a kid, because I was stupid. <laughs> so the moral of the story is don't put M&Ms in your nose. Don't put anything in put your nose. Put them in your mouth where they goes. Yeah. Especially, you know, being a stupid little kid, going in your nose was like a logical point. You know, if I was smart, I would have just shoved them all in the mouth at once. But, you know, you're a stupid little kid. What do you do? Exactly. You try and be gross so mommy and daddy won't touch you. So, <laughs> thank you guys for watching.
kids. Have a great one. Have fun with my ideas. Don't do that. Please do not do that. Have a great one. Bye bye. So we're adding on to the video. I know we just signed off. Put these in your cookie dough. Chips Ahoy. They're great. Do that chewy cookie, not the hard one. No one likes the hard one. Do the chewy cookie and put these in there. They're delicious. Tells for that very idea. dough boy. Suck them and get out of the oven. Start popping in your mouth. Exactly. Not not like super right out of the oven, but like they're still warm and gooey. But that'd be the best way to do it. Even Eminem told you to do it. They also put in popcorn. I didn't. I didn't read the back of that. You did. I just looked down. But definitely would be a hundred percent better in cookie dough. Always read the back of my bag, Cubs. Absolutely. Bye-bye again.